Hi, I'm Corey Lawson, Director of Bat Conservation for Wildlife Conservation Society Canada. In this short video, I will be summarizing our Columbia Valley project from 2023. This was a collaborative project among multiple partners, including the Kootenai Community Bat Project. Our Bat Roost Habitat Enhancement Project in the Columbia Valley Local Conservation Fund area in 2023 consisted of three main focal activities. First, we continued to use bat detectors in the Spilla Machine and Columbia Lake areas to determine species of bat present, monitor population trends, and fill critical knowledge gaps about the three migratory bat species that we have detected in the Columbia Valley. This is hoary bat, silver-haired bat, and eastern red bat. All three species have been recently assessed as endangered by the Committee on the Status of Endangered Wildlife in Canada, or CASIWIC. As the Columbia Valley has seen wind turbine proposals in the past, it is important that we understand the potential risk that wind turbines might pose to bats in this valley. Additionally, through our North American Bat Monitoring Acoustic Deployments, we detected an additional five bat species in the local conservation fund area. Our second main activity in 2023 was to enhance roost structures for bats. We focused on construction of three roost types. We used Brandon bark, which is a fake bark polymer, to wrap around young trees. We did this in the Edgewater Nature Trust BC property. Young trees do not naturally offer the crevices that bats need to successfully raise young. We are therefore essentially creating fake old growth trees by wrapping the Brandon bark around the tree, creating a cavity of varied microclimates for bats to roost within. We now have a total of six Brandon bark tree roosts on this Edgewater property. Our two previously installed Brandon bark roosts have been used extensively by bats, as evidenced by the guano that collects in the trays below. We continue to send that guano for genetic analyses to identify species of bat using the roosts. And even though our 2023 lab results are still pending, to date we have evidence of six bat species using Brandon bark in the Columbia Basin. Contracted arborists also created two wildlife trees at the Edgewater property. These are young trees modified with chainsaws to have crevices that bats can use for roosting. And our third roost type that we created was to take the Brandon bark and wrap it around poles that are dug into the ground. We have now installed a total of six of these in the Nature Conservancy of Canada's Lot 48 Columbia Lake property. Poles are used to supplement habitat in areas where there are few trees. In 2023, we also worked closely with Rachel Darville of Wildsite Golden and Nature Trust BC to help develop a plan to restore a Quonset structure that is currently being used by both at-risk rats and swallows for raising of young. On-the-ground work to restore this structure is anticipated in 2024. Our final bucket of activity in 2023 was to support landowners with bats. Through emails, phone calls, and site visits, the Kootenai Community Bat Program, led by Elodie Cunart, helped numerous landowners in summer 2023, including 12 site visits within the LCF area. Bats is a catch-all word, like ungulates. But just as elk differ from caribou, bats consist of a myriad of different species with different habitat needs. A diverse community of bats is needed for a healthy ecosystem and bats represent a significant component of biodiversity. Our project is supporting many species of bats in the CVLCF area through creation, monitoring and evaluation of different types of roosting structures and through species specific monitoring and filling of knowledge gaps. We thank the landowners of the Local Conservation Fund area for their support of wildlife conservation and hope to be able to continue this project in the future. We also thank our other funders and partners collaborating with us on this project.